Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the King's Deluxe Single Swag. Picked this up the other day from, obviously, from Adventure Kings in Melbourne here. And what we're going to do today, we're going to unbox it, season it up, and get it ready for the big weekend away with my nephews. All right, we'll uh, see you soon. Uh, come, this one comes with a bag. Uh, it's vinyl, it's not a canvas bag. I don't know how long it lasts. The zips seem to be of a, a reasonable quality. Does have these um, plastic toggles, which I'm not a big fan of, but we'll see how long they last. You know, I think I'm pretty sure you can get a replacement bag if need be. Pop that off to one side. Let's have a look else. Oh. Some instructions. Warranty card. 12 month warranty. 12 sleeves. Good start to today. Pop that over here. Let's pop the swag out now and have a look. rolled up really tight and smooth, small at the moment. I've been worn once the mattress expands, they never go back to what they were, which is this size here. Uh, plastic toggles again. We'll see how long they last. Uh, it's got sort of, looks like it, uh, aluminium eyelets here. So yeah, that looks all right. So let's pop that off to one side, so what else is in the box? Little bag here. Off, I'd say. Uh, poles. Um, they, look like, they look like they're aluminium, so they might last a bit longer than those plastic ones you normally get. So there's two of those, one for each end. And last but not least, yep, that's the center spreader pole. So it goes in like that, I, I think. There. Goes up, down, in, out. Cool. All right, so we'll set up this swag and see how we go. We'll season her up and go from there. Let's unroll this thing under these little toggles. See how we go. Well, that's your mattress. This is going to be interesting. And no, it's not the size it starts off with, it's the size that it finishes with. So, yeah, all right. First impressions seems all right. It's a ripstop, poly ripstop canvas. It's not real canvas, it's a pretend canvas. We'll um, pop this together and um, we'll see how we go. This mattress, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. All right, so I'll put this up and we'll uh, come back. Here we go, got it all set up, ready to go. Sort of, still haven't put the mattress in yet. Looking forward to expanding that. First it wasn't that hard to put up. And these poles here, they are aluminium, they're not plastic. So that was pretty good. Um, I don't know if it suffers with the sag yet that everybody complains about, because um, it's just set up in the backyard. The tent pegs, they provide all right in soft ground. I wouldn't recommend using them in anything, you know, harder than your back lawn. So, you know, they're tent pegs, they do supply them. So you can't really complain too much. So let's go have a look on the inside here. Because obviously it's a one, two, fly screen there. In here, I don't know. Oh, here we go. You got a pocket, you got one pocket there. You got a little door there at the end. Obviously the mattress isn't in here yet. At the other end, I've opened a little flap up. There you go. It's gonna have a little pocket there. So it's it's good that it doesn't have the pockets at a particular end, you get, so you can sleep at either or either end. Um the zippers I can honestly say they look they're not a YKK zipper but they look fairly solid so look all right it's not as if they get a whole lot of wear on the outside of a swag not like your rooftop tents some of the uh, outside ones here uh, double flap so that way you know that if it rains on here it doesn't get in there hopefully so what we'll do now is I'll um expand the mattress and season this up so I'm going to water it and um, we've got a really hot day at the moment here in, in Melbourne well not hot it's going to be a warm one so I'll probably get to season this at least so twice if not three times today yeah, so that's how it's gone together 
And the bucket floor seems to be okay. The PVC bucket floor will probably get a bit better when I put the mattress in. They say it takes 24 hours for that mattress to expand to its fullest extent. So uh, we'll see how we go. So I'll pop the mattress in there and uh, start seasoning this thing. Oh, got the mattress in. <clears throat> now say they expand. Let's just have a look. Looks like it's got to expand quite a bit. So we'll come back in a few hours and see how much it's uh, expanded. All right, see so how we go. All right, we're gonna give this a sprinkle now, a bit of water. The reason I keep watering them growing to a big daddy swag instead of a little, little baby swag. Give that a couple of hours and come out and do it again. All right, guys, we've finished seasoning the swag. Four times today we wet it down and dried it out. I did have some little leaks up on the bottom there, of the bucket floor that's seen. Just kept seasoning it up and it sealed itself up. Uh, with the mattress on the inside, they say it's 50 mil thick, and it is, which is good. The worst part about it, it's too short for the swag. It's about 100 mil short in length and in width a good 150 mil so you sort of get ripped off it's a damn shame really now fair enough you might put the, the mattress in the middle of the bed and all the rest of it but you know if you're going to sell a swag with a mattress in it at least make the mattress fit all the way around so yeah guys so just be aware of that if you're buying it you get not ripped off but uh, you just don't quite get the full mattress it's a shame, they, they, the kings, they almost get it right and then they just miss at the last minute. Oh right, guys, that's the swag. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, we'll see you in the next one. Alright, cheers guys.